Okay, so this is the intake camshaft, and as you can see, it has the Venos part here, and it has these two little rings which you can't forget to lose, so please don't lose those. And uh, I marked it earlier intake, so that's how they are for sure. And also, too, it says right here IN on the stamping. Okay. This guy. Make sure all your rocker arms are seated properly. Okay. And so I can just put you right in there. Exhaust camshaft. Next, let's go ahead and apply some engine assembly loop. Let's kind of get these right in here. Okay, and as I've shown to you earlier, um, <clears throat> you mark the bearing caps so you know which direction that they go. They also have a numbering stamped on them, zero, one, two, and you know, notice how the numbers are written here. So, you know, they're kind of uh, going upwards and downwards in this direction here. But it's easier just to make arrows on all of them so you know that they all go facing the front of the engine, which is important. And uh, now I'm just going to snug these bolts up before I start torquing them. Um, their torque value is 84 inch pounds, which is equal to about 7 pounds, a little more than 7 foot pounds. So, not really tight here. So. Let's start with the center one here and then work our way outwards here. So I'll start with this one here. Like I said, I just want to snug them up before I torque them. Okay. Okay, and for this job, I'm going to use Shorty here, which is my shorter torque wrench here, clicker. Set this to 7 pounds, and start with the centermost bolt, and work your way outwards. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Okay, let's get the uh, cam locking tool here. For this we need a size 27mm end wrench. Or if you want to be a uh, hood rat with it, just use a um, vice grip that somebody already did. That knucklehead did that the last time. So, you know, screw it. These camshafts are already kind of jacked up, so I might as well just do that. Said you can go either or with it, but uh, use crescent wrench, whatever you got. Okay. Kind of hard to fit a crescent wrench in here, though. But that's why I like to use this one. And we'll go ahead and put the alignment tool on there. All right, so I'm just going to be hood with it, guys. I'm just going to use this vice grip here since they already jacked up the uh, camshaft the first time around and uh, basically I think these markings have to be facing on the top and also too uh, with the square end uh, on the camshaft itself I think they only fit one way inside of this uh, cam holding tool here so um, even though it looks like it's the square it's not actually an even square um, it's kind of like a you know rectangle shape so it only fits one way in and so I got that one in, now we'll do the intake. And then after that we'll snug these down with the supplied uh, hardware. And then we'll get the uh, camshaft sprockets in there. Next we're going to drop in the timing chain. It goes in this way, you can refer to the holes here. 
in which the chain retainers go through the engine block to verify that it is the correct way. Unfortunately, my chain kit was kind of cheap. It didn't really come with brand new O-rings, which is kind of sad, you know, but uh, it is what it is, you know. I'm not going to argue with that. I paid very little for it, really. I think I've only paid like $50 or something versus $140 that the other kits will run you and over $200 that the dealership wants to charge you for this. We'll go ahead and just clean off this part here. And in fact, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some AT205 reseal around here. I'm going to reseal these so that way that uh, they can rejuvenate the rubber that's on these O-rings here. Okay, we simply get these bolts. So the long one goes on top. And I get the two little shorties that go on the bottom. Okay, when installing the uh, crankshaft hub and pulley assembly back on, I like to go ahead and clean the surface first and then put some anti seize so that way it'll slip right through. Um, but I don't want to put any anti seize in here per se. I want this to be dry because I want that to have a firm grip, but I just want the, just this portion to have anti seize so it'll go right through. Okay, so the sequence for torquing the crank hub bolt is you do 50 newton meters or 37 foot pounds initially and then follow through with 180 degrees. And that's your final torque. So this is 37. And then you do 180 degrees. For that, we can mark again the bolt. Uh, we can start off here at the left side. 180 degrees would be end up here. So let me show you. So start off here on this side. And then we'll write one. And then one up here at two. Okay. When torquing the camshaft sprockets, um, the one with the Venos receives 20 newton meters initially plus 180 degrees final torque. That's 20 newton meters plus 90 degrees final torque. 20 newton meters is roughly about 14 and 3 quarter foot pounds. I'm going to do about 14 and a half just to be on the safe side. Okay, let's try this again. So I went ahead and corrected the um, chain upper chain guide that I installed wrong the first time around. And in doing so, I knocked off the timing a little bit, so I had to reset the intake camshaft timing. Um, and I'm kind of afraid because now I just retorqued this stretch bolt, and uh, I'm not too sure if this will hold up. So I'm hoping it does, and uh, I know we'll see how it goes. And then I went ahead and uh, buttoned up the bottom again. So let's go ahead and uh, give this a couple rotations and see if it'll stay on time.
Okay, so that's one rotation, and we are back on time, as you can see, our lines there. Uh, these top edges here are flat on the back, and the writing is on top on the camshafts again. And let's turn it one more time. I'm just afraid of this bolt, though, man, because that's a torque to yield bolt. And uh, once you stretch them, they don't have much more elasticity left in them. So... That thing snaps, I have to redo this whole thing over again. Fuck. I should just go through the Okay, so we're on time. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and start rewiring everything here, starting with these injector clips. So I got these all labeled here. Thankfully, otherwise it'd be a complete nightmare to figure this one out. <laughs> okay, got those all nice and tucked there. Yep. 